Interesting. Have you guys ever seen One moment, please. A Remington lawnmower? Isn't that interesting? So anyway, I'll show you how it sounds. We'll go back out. Sounds like it needs to be, uh, have the, uh, what do you call it? The governor adjusted. Or any. Oh, it's not gonna go. I guess that's the first plan is to make it go. I started it earlier and uh, oh I know why. It's got a primer boot in. or it's running a little slow so we'll, we'll tackle this one later I just thought I'd show it to you now don't mind the water everywhere I was just cleaning up a little bit okay I hope this makes the sound it's been making because this is what I'm looking for listen listen for this guys I have to prime it every time too I wonder if it's out of oil. I should probably check that. Done. It's looking a little bit grayish. But it has oil. It's on the low, but it has oil. Tunkin' and tunkin', that's for sure. And it's got fuel. I checked that once before, but I thought maybe it drained out. It was just running. The muck was still warm. Hey, we got one way to cheat a little bit here. You guys still in view? Yeah. Plug out of there. Man, and it's a standard size. I do have it laying on its side. Goodness.
It'd be like a BPR5, BPR, BPR, yeah. Oh, it's totally wet. Now, let's put a rag down in front there. And give her a jerk. Oh, it's locked up. Even with the, uh, ooh, I better be careful. Even with the plug out, stick my hands in there. Now, let's squeeze the bit. Oops, I should have done that earlier. I got one. Yep, right here. I'm worried that there's some pent up kinetic energy in that. Eat. mess up and leave it like that for a bit. Yuck! Don't you hate that? It might even be, it might even have a valve. Oh, there's a dent in the valve cover. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. I'm going to put all these down here. And then just take them out to my my disposal bin. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'll be right. Let me just put these goobers in here. Chuck them outside. Bring it back in. And let me show you something. It might be and it might not be. But there's a dent in the overhead overhead valve cap. And I'm going to take that off to see if one of the valves is being pushed in. And it looks like an exhaust valve. So I'm just going to turn you off, pump this up, take that four bolts out of that cap, and then I'll bring you back. All right, we got this little mower in the air. Whoop. <laughs> Reverse direction, bad thing. I'm going to try and take that little uh, valve cover off of there and we're going to see if one of the valves is being coming right off so easy oh it's been off already once Okay, so now the plug's out, right?
Oh, no, it hasn't been off. It's just torn a little bit. So we'll leave it on there. Well, there it is. It's, I'd say it's dented in enough to... Oh, I don't see any impact marks. Yeah, right there is a pretty good one. So I'm going to just pound this out and put it back on. Okay, they're both at about eight, which is fine with me. Anything around eight, it looks like it's about eight, eight on the exhaust and six on the intake. That's pretty stiff there. I'm happy with that. So the only thing I changed was I added, like I added some some space between the valves and the and the cover. It looks better, doesn't it? I bet you it was caved in a half an inch. Just make sure they're not too tight or too loose here. That's just right. Half a turn on each. I'm getting better with that gun. All right. Yeah. Let's put the nose down. And we'll see if it'll start. Oh, you gotta put the spark plug back in. Let's just give it a little dryness. Is it a BPR 5E6? Torch! Fine, <laughs> The whole engine's a torch. Ba -ba 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 -ba. some carburetor spray down the throat, eh? There we go. With some carb spray in the, in the, what do you call it, carburetor and some priming, it should do what I want it to do. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Push you guys back. I don't want you getting hurt. And, uh, Give it a tug and see what happens. Well, it's sounding better. It's not clunking. How much battery do we have? No, there's no battery alarm. Okay, I'm going to take the flywheel, flywheel off of this engine. It's actually not the flywheel because there's not enough weight there to be a flywheel. On a lawnmower, the flywheel is the blade. And on a pressure washer, because there's no inertia underneath, it's a different actually it's a stationary engine and this cast iron flywheel is still in the top. But on these lawnmowers, there really isn't much of a flywheel up there. It only weighs about a half a pound. 
You gotta see if we can get this flywheel off of here. Oh, we might even be able to see if it's sheared from here. Gonna have to go to plan B, whatever that is. <laughs> I'm gonna just have one more look at that under the lights. Under the big lights. seeing things. No, it's good. But I don't see Pull it off anyway. Let's see if I can pull this off. Now some guys say you should you should remove the coil. Some guys say you you know don't worry about it. In this case, this lawnmower could be destined for the junkyard too, so. Good. Five eighths inch wrench should just pull that bugger right off of there. Five eighths. This is a pretty short five eighths. Okay, let's put the brake back on. Oh no, we won't. We want it to release, right? Now hopefully there was enough battery left in my camera. It's a different battery. Have a look. Did you see it? Yes you did. The mower gods came through again. No, it's okay. The flywheel is okay. So what is making that god awful racket? Good. Bold. And I think I'm done for the day. I don't know why it's rattling so hard. Let's just get the flywheel on and we'll see how much end play is in that uh, shaft. <coughs> how cool is that? Huh? That's fun stuff. Okay, I'm gonna. The bale is still squeezed. I don't see anything big and sinister going on, guys. It's like a loose rod or something. Let's just 
just put it back together. It's really easy. Plug the spark plug back in while we've got it. Good, good. And we'll put this back on like that. Three ten volts. And so no flywheel key sheared. What is causing that horrible racket? I've heard it sound like that when the blade is hitting the frame. So let's make it go do that one more time. You ready? Definitely not happy. I can feel it in the rope pole. Better pull this plug off. That's too mean, too dangerous. This one would be a good one to do an autopsy on if it doesn't make it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something weird if it was like that, eh? I'm going to put a drill on that. An adapter with a 19 millimeter socket. If you got a drill that's stronger than you, you'll hurt yourself. But I can hold on to this drill even if the even if the uh, output decides to go backwards in the direction. Okay, let's see what we got here. Brakes on, off. <laughs> Not much there. Same boo. I wonder if it's something silly like that. Coil is too close to the. Ah, now we're starting to. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's just uh, regap this coil. Maybe somebody put it right up against it. Now we're talking. Where's the magnets on this bad boy?
Wouldn't that be something if it was just the magnets being too close to the coil? I doubt it. Okay, drill. <laughs> Gotta move a little closer to the stick. Are you guys still watching? You are. Give her some more juice to drink. In fact, we could put this right back here. Like that. And then we could play more. I think it's maybe got something bad going on inside. You hear that, eh? I think it's got the what they what us lawnmower guys call a death rattle. I might just publish this the way it is and ask you guys what I should do. We could do an auto spy or an autopsy. I don't know. It's a cute little guy. Chonda. Thought I might have had it with those. Um... Yeah, it runs good once it starts up too, eh? So I think the, the previous owner hit something hard and the flywheel did not pop. The flywheel key. There we go. And, uh, Something's damaged on the inside of the motor. I'm gonna see if I can pull that with my hand. something when it takes off though, eh? Come on, girl! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. My body is finished. It was kind of fun, wasn't it? Especially when it's not a... It was given to me. And sometimes when they're given to you, it's five minutes of work to get them running. And sometimes when they're given to you, uh, they got a, something terminal going on inside. But I tell you, <laughs> these little frames, you know, the ones with the wheels that just bolt right through? Now, I would raise this one up a little bit. But these little frames are desirable for people who have acreages where the wife might be five foot zero and she's cutting the lawn. They're light, they're easy to maneuver. Um, and I might just keep that, I don't usually keep the decks, but I might just keep this deck uh, for a friend of mine, Alfred's wife. So we'll, we're, it's in good shape. Yeah, I mean, it's a little pigeon toad. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That was a lot of fun.